There goes an accident looking for some place to happen. Hey, they're heading for Hairpin Turn. You better take the shortcut, Fury, and try to stop them. This one's hurt bad. Oh, better get him inside. There you go. Jimmy ain't back in Capital City yet. We'll put him in his room. I'll take the bag. Hmm. No wonder he passed out, bleeding like that. It's a bullet wound. I didn't mention it to the boy. I didn't want to upset him. We stopped on the way to do a little hunting. He tripped and shot himself. We were rushing to find a doctor when we cracked up. Want me to get the first aid kit, Pete? You better call a doctor. Where's the phone? Well, it's in the living room. You better if I call him. Just give me his phone number. Don't matter who calls, as long as we get the doc here. Well, the number's near the phone. I'll show you. Are you? Where's Race? Now, take it easy, partner. Your friend's uh, calling the doctor. Uh, what was you hunting, all dressed up in your uh, city clothes? What are you talking? <coughs> what are you talking about? Your accident. Or, yeah, I, I forgot that. Where's Race? You sure he's calling that doctor? Yeah, he, he's in the living. Operator. Get me capital, 4132. This is an emergency. Hello, Dr. Miller? My name is Race Collins. Can you come over to the Broken Wheel Ranch right away? My friend's been hurt. He's got a bullet in him. That's right, we're house guests. We'll be looking for you. He's on his way. Shoulder's killing me. I got the bleeding stopped, but if you don't rest easy, it might start again. Hear that, Frank? Relax if you want to live and enjoy life. I'll rustle him up some hot soup. Might do him some good. 
Peter, good cook? The best. In that case, tell him I wouldn't mind a bite of grub either. We couldn't have walked into a sweeter setup. A simple-minded old man and a trusting kid. Yeah, I suppose they found out who we are. Who's gonna tell them? I got them convinced we're a couple of tenderfoot hunters from the big city. His shoulder feels like it's on fire. The doc will cool it off when he gets here. Meanwhile, we gotta figure on some transportation out of here. But not let them catch you packing that rod. They do, it'll be their funeral. Telling so many tall tales about those bad men, you're beginning to believe it yourself. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong about them too, but I'll feel a lot more comfortable with this handy. Well, look, if they're so desperate, why did that race take a chance and call Doc Miller? Well, maybe he's figuring on uh, making Doc swallow that yarn about the hunting accident. Not me. Even a greenest tenderfoot don't go hunting in business suits without rifles. Yeah, come to think of it, I didn't see one in the car either. And what's more, Frank acted like he didn't know nothing about no hunting accident. Now, where can I keep this so it'll be handy and out of sight? What's the matter? Am I off limits or something? <laughs> and you come in so quiet and sudden like, you sort of startled us. Is the only solid food you've got around here? Mind if I look in your canned goods? Uh, there's nothing over here but beans. Uh, try the soup. Uh, as quick as you're finished, I'll fix you something real solid. Well, that'll be fine. Give Frank his first. Yeah. You guys ride horses around here all the time? Well, no way you can get around in ranch country. That cowboy stuff's all right. Give me a set of wheels every time. <laughs> or haven't you guys heard about horseless carriages yet? We're not as score as some city folks think we are. We got a station wagon right up there with any of them. Yeah? Where'd he keep it? My partner took it to Capital City. He has an idea it's quicker and more comfortable than a covered wagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, Pete. I guess you can dish it out as well as take it out. <laughs> yep. There we are. Fellow's running high fever. If you don't get a doctor real quick, he's gonna be knocking on them pearly gates. That Dr. Miller I called is sure taking his time. See the only sawbones around here? Well, there's Doc Evans, but seeing as how you called one doctor, there ain't no sense calling him. What's the matter with two doctors? Nothing's too good for Frank. Operator? Connect me with Doc Evans, please. What do you mean he's not in? This is an emergency. Ah! Oh, don't! Don't! Ah! Don't, don't what, Frank? Grace! Don't shoot! What's going on? Uh, the fever's got his mind wandering. Poor guy. I hope he hangs on to one of those doctors get here.
fever seems to be breaking. Joey! Pete! Is anybody home? Hey, where is everybody? Where is everybody? It's Packy. Oh, there you are. Hey, Joey, did you hear about the excitement in town? Who's that? Just the fellow who got hurt. Now, you and Joey... It was all on the radio. A couple cooks shot a bank cashier in a guard, Shh. and they got away with a pile of money. Keep quiet. One of them was shot, and there's a big reward. Even if it's a million bucks. Got six bullets that say nobody's gonna collect. You talk big. Without that iron in your hand, I wouldn't give out a plug nickel for you. Maybe you'd like to try me. Grace, there's been enough shooting. Put that gun away. I don't like anybody around after they've low-rated me. You tin horn! I got a half a mind to take that pea shooter away from you and... All right. You want to commit suicide? You see, everybody listens when I show them this. A lot of good that'll do you. The sheriff will catch you. He's got roadblocks up all over the valley. Hmm. That's the kind of information I like. By the time night comes around, I'll figure some way to get through those roadblocks. Won't be so easy watching all of us till then. All I have to do is glom on to Pete. Anybody steps out of line, he gets it right in the heart. Description of the stolen car tallies with the one used by the bank robbers. The sheriff is maintaining a 24-hour roadblock and feels certain that the criminals are still somewhere within the county. However, he is working with state authorities. An arrest is expected by the end of the day. <laughs> I've been hearing that junk all my life. We can only get the Fury here to help us. Hey, what are you two cooking up? We were just worried about Fury. Somebody's got to feed him. Tell him to go feed himself. Sit down. But you just said. I know what I said, but everybody stays right here where I can see him. Where do you think you're going? I'm hungry. You'll eat when the horses eat. I'm only going to the kitchen. Peace. Drop that gun. Yeah, you finally got some teeth, huh? I ain't never killed no one, but I got these kids to think of. Drop that gun or I'll kill you as quick as I would a mad dog. Give me the rifle. I mean it. Give me that rifle. You don't think I'd leave that thing laying around with a bullet in it, do you? Ah! Don't think I'm getting soft because I don't plug them. One more false move and I will. Race! Get up. Go see what he wants. Sit down. What's going on in there? Eh, don't worry, your friend's got everything under control. My friend. If I hadn't listened to him, I wouldn't be here. I reckon you're going to be here a long time after he leaves. He wouldn't leave me. Well, you know him better than I do. The way he's acting, everything in that black bag belongs to him. What's with Frank? He's worried about you going off without him. Was he expecting me to do, carry him on my back? the as honor even among thieves. That's a great line for suckers like Frank. Me, I'm thinking about number one. You're no good double-crossing heel. I'll show you who's a sucker. You froze, Frank, just like you did in the bank. You should have stayed in bed. You'd live longer. Ain't no sense getting yourself killed.
put Frank back in bed. Who's your delivery boy? My partner. Good. Nice of him to bring me transportation. Come on, Jackie. Wait a minute. You kids run out and race will go wild. Just don't tell him what he'll do to Pete. Oh, that other guy just came in. I only had a gun. Look, Pete hid a gun in the kitchen cupboard, and it's loaded. All right, you two. Back in the living room. So long, sucker. I'll be driving out of here in a little while. I want to wish you luck, buddy. All of it bad. <laughs> Kid was right. The sweet little station wagon you lended me. I won't get you any further than the state penitentiary. <laughs> Everybody around here is a comic. But this is good for the last laugh. It opens banks, and it'll open a roadblock. In there, all of you, quick! If you were my buddy, Frank, I'd put a slug between your eyes. All of you against that wall, you too. Tell you twice. <laughs> I'm taking him along for insurance. First sign to see if anyone chasing me, I'm dumping. Filled with lead. Go get him, Fury. <laughs> Bet you're packing. It's going right back where it came from. And you're going to bust right through them roadblocks real official like, Big Shot, with a sheriff for your chauffeur. Looks like Fury had the last laugh, not you. Too happy to see me. 
Well, I'm happy enough, but I expected you to be somebody else. That's why it's all dooted up. Oh, hold your tongue. Well, you didn't hold your tongue when you talked to that newspaper reporter on the phone. What newspaper reporter? The one who's going to put Pete's picture in the paper for catching the bank robbers. Now, hold your horses. I never claimed I'd done it single-handed. All I said was that I was onto him from the start and... And that you had it all figured out how to get your gun. And, and... he didn't even mention fury. <laughs> Dag nabbit, you're making me sound like a glory hound. I said I was going to give everybody full credit when that newspaper reporter got here. <laughs> even fury knows the boys are joshing you, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.